Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to create data frames from series. Um, series, we've seen them before, they're really powerful um, one-dimensional um, uh, data structures, like you know vectors or, or columns. And now we're going to use them to create you know this data matrix, this 2D uh, data structure that we have in the data frames. So let's import pandas and numpy. I've seen this stuff from previous videos. And here, what I'm doing here is I'm creating two series, S1 and S2. So uh, S1 equals PD dot series from pandas um, to have you know five random numbers from NumPy, and then um, give the index labels A, B, C, D, E. So the rows will will basically be labeled. Likewise for S2, let's do the same. Run this one S1 and run S2 and have a look. Take a quick look at the values. S1 and S2, right? And to create um, a, a data frame out of these two, I can uh, use the function concat from pandas. Uh, we're going to have a deeper look at this function in, in the coming videos, but just qu a quick look tells us that it, this concat, it concatenates pandas objects along a particular axis with optional set logic. We'll have a look later, but the, import, the important thing we, we're interested in now that it concatenates pandas objects along a particular axis. So by default, if I pass it S1 and S2, these two uh, series, as a list, notice here, in a list, what it does, and I'm saving that into DF, what it does, it concatenates them uh, in the sense that it attaches the second series to the end of the first series so notice here it does it along you know the row so we have more rows now right the new the, new, the resulting data frame has more rows um, we can if we want create column or a column from s2 uh, basically by setting the concat to do concatenation along Basically, you know, the, the, the column, i.e. S2 will be a new column next to S1 by setting, if we go back to the documentation, here access is zero by default, and we need just to set the access to one, and then the data frame will have two columns resulting from the first data uh, series and the, sec the second series. Notice here that the, um, the notes the, 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 the index labels, we can um, uh, get those to be a third column by doing reset index. And notice now we have the index as a you know the, a new column index A B C D E. We've lost uh, that uh, we've lost the labels, but at least we have it now as an index. Just a, an extra uh, a thing that we can do if we wanted to. Um, another thing that we can quickly look at is because now we're having you know a two-dimensional data frame. What if we wanted to access a certain element? Although I'll speak about this in more detail in the coming videos, but there are several functions. If I do df dot, uh, there's one called iLock. If we look at the documentation doing shift tab, it tells us this is a purely integer location-based indexing. So if I want, for example, the first element, I use square bracket of zero. Uh, this gives me the first row, if you remember. So the first row has a, 0 0.93, 0 0.01, and so on and so forth. If I want the first row, I can, sort, I can say dot i lock, and then pass it 0. And then the first element of the first row, I can say of 0, 0, or the, uh, the first element I'm sorry, the second element of the second row, I can say of 1 and 1. Notice it's uh, minus 0 0.07, 8. If we go back, we're talking about this one here. Uh, always bear in mind that the indexing is zero based. Okay, uh, That's how, basically, you can create um, uh, you know, data frame from pandas, or I'm sorry, a pandas data frame from pandas series. These are more than one series. Uh, maybe another thing that we can quickly look at is if we go back now to, for example, S2. Um, 
let's say we wanted to create a data frame out of S2 immediately. So to do that, to create a data frame out of uh, a series immediately, I can do something like S dot, and then I notice here I have the to frame function, which converts the series to a data frame. So I can do that, and it'll return me a data frame, right? So, but this is only one series, as you can see. Right, let's stop here. Thanks for watching. More interesting st stuff is coming in the next video, so I'll see you in the next, uh, in the next video.